Hi friends, welcome back to the big joy of learning with Bijoy G. As part of Google Cloud Next 24, Google has introduced tables in Google Sheets. With tables, you can simplify and accelerate spreadsheet building by bringing format and structure to unorganized ranges. Sheets now does the heavy lifting to format and organize data with a polished design including column types, filters, color coding, drop-down menus and more. Let's see how this works. To convert existing data to a table, select a range of cells, either empty or with data. On the menu bar, click format and then convert to table. Select the appropriate column type for each column and your table is ready to use. By default, the table will be named as table1, double click on the name and give an appropriate name. I will make it as item master. You can control your table settings and further customize it through the table menu. To use the table menu, at the top of your table, click table menu. In the table menu, you can rename your table, adjust table range, turn off alternating colors, customize your table colors, remove table formatting, delete your table and send feedback. You can further change the alternative colors in the table, from Format menu, Alternating Colors. Select the colors as desired and click Done to apply. Alternatively, you can also select from the table default styles. From the down arrow in each column header, you can sort the column, filter the column, group the table with the data in a particular column. You can create temporary views from the icon near the table menu. Further, you can save the view temporary view for later use or else, the temporary views disappear after spreadsheet refreshes. You can use table references in formulas in tables. Table references are a special way to refer to a table or parts of a table in a formula. When you convert your data to a table, we give it a name, as well as each column header. You can then use those names to reference cells in the table. For example, instead of explicit cell references, is equal to sum, h42h18, you can use table references, is equal to sum, item master in square brackets, selling price. When you reference table elements by name, the references update whenever you add or remove data from the table. You can add columns to a table by clicking the plus sign beside the last column of the table. By adding column this way table automatically adjusts the table range. You can insert a new table with a predefined structure through templates that cover common use cases. To create from template, just enter at the rate table from a blank cell and select from the templates listed on the right side of the worksheet. Hover over the different template names listed to get a preview of the template. Click on the template name to insert the template into the worksheet. That's all about tables in Google Sheets in this session. We will catch up with more interesting topics in the next one. This is Darpana signing off for now. We will catch up with some more interesting topics in our next session soon. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do it now and click on the bell icon to get notified. If you feel the content of the video was useful to you, please like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for your time and have a big joy of learning.